Now I added a radius of one quarter for each of these with the intent of going back to edit this to say TYP at the end. TYP stands for typical and it means anytime you see something like this you can assume it's going to have this dimension attached to it. We don't always see typical sometimes you see a general note on a dimension so let's delete that for just a second and talk about using the multi-line text command. It's located here and you actually have a couple of options. You have multi-line and single line. They're self-explanatory. Multi-line text creates multiple lines of text. Single line text would just create a single line of text and you could rotate it and move it to different areas of the screen and change the font and the size and all kinds of different things. Uh, we're just going to click on text which defaults to multi-line and click in the bottom left corner to create a little draw box and we're going to type in rounds and fillets R capital R for radius one fourth click away from it to set and if you want to go back and change the size of the box you can click and drag to change the location click on the square and if you were to change the um, column height or width it's all done through here for special characters let's go back in here just for a second there are sometimes tell you what let's just make a new one there are sometimes where you want a special character in with one of these and the most common ones are diameter, plus or minus, and degree. Uh, they have codes to those characters and to enter those in, uh, for example, for diameter, you type in 2% 2 2 size and a capital C. For the degree symbol, you would type in 2% signs and the letter D. And for the plus or minus sign, you type in 2% signs and the letter P. There are a number of other ones. These are the most common. You can play around with it on your own and see what other ones you can find. Uh, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. You can look it up online if you want to. These are the ones you are going to need to be most familiar with.